Hi guys, Mindy Place here, bringing you another Clash Royale video. So today what I've got is some update sneak peeks actually. So I've got the first three sneak peeks for the update. Now, um, I'm going to be including all the stuff that's been revealed in the, uh, the three sneak peeks so far. Uh, there's probably going to be a balance change one, not going to lie. Um, but yeah, so what I want to go through is um, basically the touchdown reveal, quests. I want to go through the new game modes, so uh, mirror battles, stuff like that. Uh, and also the new shop revamp. Again, another shop revamp. So I'm pretty sure two updates ago or something, they re revamped the shop. Revamped. Uh, they revamped the shop two updates ago, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, they're basically revamping it again. Uh, and it really looks a lot better now. A lot more. Um, because it used to be really, like, a long list of stuff. So you could have an offer. You could have a legendary chest. You could have six potential cards if it was Epic Sunday. Tons of stuff in the shop. Then you've also got, obviously, the gems and the gold and stuff. And it was just so crowded. So uh, I'm glad that they are they are changing this. But I'm going to start off the video with a quick magical chest. So let's see if we can get anything good from this. So 1,200 gold. Uh, three goblin gangs. Not too bad. Um, I do use goblin gang, but obviously three go goblin gangs probably will not help me very much. 20 bombers, 23 spear goblins, 49 bats, uh, 10 ice golems. 14 heals, we can now get our heal upgrade, and what's the epic going to be? Skarmies. We can now also get our Skarmie upgrade, so that is pretty good. Uh, did get something towards our deck, uh, it's probably not going to make much of a difference, but um, just in case someone requests it, that could uh, give us a bit more gold, obviously 15 gold for that. So, I'm going to turn on the window capture, and then you guys will be able to see the sneak peeks. Now, uh, I'm going to basically uh, put some gameplay of Touchdown on in the background in a second. Um... And I'm going to have to quickly find it during the video, actually. So, uh, update sneak peeks. Coming in the next update. So, sneak peek number one is um, basically going to be quests. So, um, take on daily and weekly quests to earn epic rewards. Rewards include super magical and legendary chests. Watch this video for details. And it links you to OJ's video about the update. And I'm just going to quickly mute that. Um, we get a DS advert. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to skip that. And yeah, so basically, I'm going to go and try and skip to a certain point in the video. Uh, so yeah, you can get to here, and you're basically going to be able to get magical chests. Uh, you can get golden chests for 50 quest points. You can get, um, I'm pretty sure a magical chest is 300, so it's a giant chest. Epic chest, I'm pretty sure, is a 350. Uh, if you get enough, then you can get a legendary chest for 400. And every so often, really rare though, is going to be a super magical for 500 quest points. And you're going to get quests like this, so I play common, play cards with common rarity 60 times. Um, so you, And you get 10 rare cards and 20 quest points for that. Uh, and you get a quest every single day. So you can also get quests that give you, say, uh, collect this reward, or uh, collect this free chest. So you get free, three free chests for the day, and then you can just collect one every four hours. Uh, just be able to collect those. And you don't have to uh, collect all of them in the day if you don't play that much. Then you can actually just collect a few one day and a few the next. And then you get five quest points for each single one of them. You can also get a daily reward um, for five, uh, basically five quest points. Uh, and a small reward for just coming onto the game and collecting it. So it could be ten gems, could be a few hundred gold, stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool feature. I think it's going to rebalance Ladder a lot. But I think it's also going to break it because obviously... Some of the quests are like, use Valken Hog in ladder, um, in, and win with it in your deck. Um, obviously you don't have to use it, but you just have to have them in your deck. Obviously, that would mean you're restricted to only two card slots, but, um, but yeah. I, th I feel like that would kind of break ladder a lot, because a lot of people would just, uh, there's another quest where you have to use, uh, 30 spawner buildings. Oh, not for spawner buildings, just, just buildings in battles, in 1v1 battles. Uh, if it was 2v2, it doesn't really matter as much, because it's casual, it's casual. No one loses anything from 2v2s. Um, but, if you do this, then obviously you're going to be able to, um, you know, drop trophies deliberately just to complete your quest. But, obviously you can skip a uh, quest like that if you don't want to do them, then I think you get a quest with the same reward uh, and the same rarity and stuff. So you can get stuff from 30 commons to uh, 1 epic. Uh, stuff like that, and you can skip one quest per day, so that is pretty good, f a pretty good feature right there. And that's pretty much all it was for sneak peek number one, but it was a really, really cool feature. Sneak peek number two is going to be new game mode, so touchdown. I'm going to link you guys to the touchdown, uh, all the videos that I show in this, um, in this video, uh, I'm going to actually link to in the description. But 
um, right here, you're actually going to be able to see the touchdown tournament, which was really, really cool. Uh, I do recommend you guys watch that. Even just the recap will be uh, pretty good, so I will link you guys the recap in the description. Uh, but I do want to show, actually, some of that. So, um, let me quickly skip to about halfway. Uh, you guys are going to be able to... Well, of course, I'd skip to somewhere where the bracket is. Of course, I do. So, basically, this is how the game mode works. So, you can, uh, you can place cards to that line at the top there. Um, and yeah, if any troop gets past that, uh, that line, either in the red or in the blue, uh, then they're gonna score a touchdown. So obviously the highlight reel is only gonna show, um, parts where there was touchdowns. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, the balloon barely got past there, so you do get a touchdown for that. Skeletons get past, even that counts as a touchdown. Is a ton of stuff. Um, Battle Ram is really, really good in this mode. And also you can do, uh, 2v2 touchdowns and stuff in friendly battles, but I'm pretty sure... Now we know that they only apply when there's an actual uh, challenge up for it. So, pretty much the same as the draft. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool game mode. Um, okay, so. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next sneak peek, though. So, you can earn gold and gems by taking down towers using gold rush and gem rush events. So you can earn 5,000 gold per gem rush. Or, uh, gem rush. Uh, 5,000 gold per gold rush event, uh, and if you take down one tower in a game, it's going to give you 100 gold. If you take down two towers, the first one will give you 100, then the next one 200, so you get a total of 300. And the final tower, if you get a 3 crown, will give you 300 bonus gold, so you'll get a total of 600 gold, and then obviously your victory gold for your arena. Uh, and that will count towards your, um, your event gold for that. Uh, obviously, uh, for me, I earn 24 gold, that does not count towards the event, because you just earn that normally. Uh, you can actually have a rematch and chat with your 2v2 teammate. You get 12 emotes, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, you get 14 emotes. Four of them are decided every single game. And then 10 of them are kind of troll ones. So uh, next time I'll aim for the towers, uh, stuff like that. But then you've also got good game. Uh, let's have a rematch, stuff like that. Uh, or join my clan. That one also comes up. So uh, And there's also mirror battles. So they give you and your opponent the exact same deck. So I'm not going to go through that right now. Uh, but yeah, basically Mirror is guaranteed in every single deck, and yeah, that's available in 1v1s and 2v2s. So, sneak peek number 3 is going to be bonus stuff. So, share and copy decks from outside the game, hence why the uh, share button is right there. Uh, so, you, it basically works the same way as if you try and invite someone to the clan, uh, then it basically gives them an invite link, say on Twitter or something. Uh, you can also share into a note, which obviously wasn't that helpful before, because um, all, all it did was just kind of put it on a note for later on, but now you can share it to a note and then make a list of all your good decks. So that is going to stop people from having to use screenshots instead, which is going to help me a lot. I uh, don't know if I'll use it every single time though. Uh, we've revamped the shop, check, check it out for daily deals. Uh, so you basically get six different slots in the shop every single day, we'll go through that in a second. Uh, collect a free epic card from the shop every Sunday that does count as a card slot. Uh, gems are no longer refunded for custom tournaments if no players join on battles, so uh, no more fake 10k tournaments and stuff people were saying, uh, just to troll people. And News Royale is now in full screen. So more details here. And again, it is going to link to OJ's... Uh, actually, no, it didn't uh, It didn't link to OJ's video. It linked to um, Clash of Ashes. Um, it did originally link to, um, to uh, OJ's, though. So I'm going to actually go in my, um, in my sub box quick uh, just to find it. And, yeah, so I am going to go on the subscriptions, and I'll be able to find OJ's video, because there I know, uh, I know it actually does list the, uh, the stuff in the shop, uh, and it goes into it, a bit of detail in, into it, so, uh, I'm gonna try and find it right here, right there, bam, and let me put it on this screen, so, uh, this is basically it, so, uh, let me go to this part, so, you're gonna be able to get, let me quickly pause it here, you're gonna be able to get, um, a pouch of gold, 200, that randomly comes up. That is free. You can get that pouch of gold for free whenever that comes up. You can get 10 gems, which is a uh, fistful of gems, it calls it, even though a fistful of gems is 80 in the game if you buy them for 99p. Um, you can get a fistful of gems for 10 gems for free. Uh, you can also get, um, instead of it being a massive amount for a common, so at the end of the stack it would actually cost 200 gold to get a common. Uh, instead of it doing that now, what it will do is um, it will cost exactly 10 gold for every common in a stack. Uh, exactly 100 rare, uh, 100 rares. Um, exactly 100 gold for every rare in a stack, and 1,000 gold still for every 
epic in a stack. You're also going to get stuff like epic chests and legendary chests that come up every so often. Um, but yeah, as you can see, 40 minions does cost 400 gold. Uh, but you have to buy the whole stack. So if you are uh, one of those people that buys three commons uh, of each and three rares of each every single time, and if it's an epic that you do um, use, then you buy a few of them. Um, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do that anymore. So there is a max limit of... Uh, I think they said either three or five epics, uh, and there is a max limit of one legendary now. I'm uh, not sure exact the exact limit of commons and rares, uh, but obviously it's going to be really linear now, extremely linear. So you're going to easily be able to work out the value for each uh, for each common, rare, epic, and legendary now. Uh, obviously, legendaries are going to stay the same at forty thousand gold. But you can get stuff like mortars, um, where you're actually able to. Um, if I can skip ahead right here, uh, you're going to be able to. Uh, by 60 mortars for 30 gut, 30 gems. So again, in this next in next day's shop, it come up with another pouch of gold for free. That is 200 gold you're getting for free every single day. Um, well, not every single day, but whenever it comes up, and also 10 gems if that does come up, that is also free. Uh, barbarians, so you'll be able to get barbarians right there. Uh, bowler musketeers, as you can see, they're not always the same amount. So there's 15 musketeers for 1500 gold. Uh, mortars, 60 mortars for 30 gems. That is pretty good. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's actually more worth it to get those. Uh, and then you can actually share decks, obviously, as we already went through. Um, we're going to try and skip ahead to the Epic Sunday part, um, because we do need to work out what happens on Epic Sunday now. So, uh, as you can see, if you've probably already worked it out, uh, also Epics, you can buy five Lightnings right there, which is the max amount I've just remembered, for 250 gems. Uh, so that is also pretty decent. So that's the same value as uh, buying the um, the epics for gold because 250 gems is equal to 5,000 gold so um, so yeah obviously 1,000 gold per epic so that does uh, equal the value as the normal amount so epic Sunday right here you're still gonna get f uh, not five six slots uh, you're gonna be able to get this epic as a free gift so you're gonna be able to get one random epic every single Sunday if you log on that is worth it that is really really good especially for low level people because you could be able to get an epic you don't even have yet. Uh, you could be able to get anything, really. Uh, so 40 Teslas, again, 400 gold, Fire Spirits, Rocket, Giant Skeleton, and even Inferno Dragon right there. Uh, you're going to be able to get that for 40,000 gold. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all there is in the update. I'm going to go through the rest of it, though. Um, but yeah, I am going to actually click on uh, click on this one, because I do remember now this was a deck shop, uh, deck shop pro link so yeah there's going to be a revamped shop so other small changes so uh better friendly battle and challenge user interface yeah there's a much better one you can see the number of online friends on the 2v2 play with friends button yep uh so you can now actually see uh the amount of people online right there uh more visual improvements i'll leave you to figure them out once the update is public so i always try and figure them out i always uh i always do that so uh one bonus deck shop sneak peek for you so um you're going to be able to do Stuff like that on DeckShop.pro um, coming sometime next week. So um, I don't know what that exactly means, but um, yeah, whether it's something related to DeckShop.pro or something like that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so you're going to be able to get a revamped shop right there, uh, hidden gems. Uh, yeah, that was a that is a really good pun. Um, okay, so uh, it doesn't actually um, it doesn't actually let you view the update sneak peek number two. Uh, where even is it? It isn't even on here. It's literally gone. It is literally gone. Um, where is it? Uh, Big Collateral Real update is coming. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's actually gone, so... Um, oh, no, 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 there you go, there you go. So, touchdown mode, you'll be able to, uh, play that in Draft 2v2. Uh, ladder bonus rewards for Gold Rush and Gem Rush. Uh, you also get gold skins on your towers, which is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see right here, you're going to have 14 emotes after every match. You get good game, well played, thanks, and ha ha. Uh, you're going to get 10 randomly generated emotes uh, from about a list of 40 or 50 extra ones. Uh, and then you can not only BM during the match, but afterwards too. Uh, but only to your uh, your teammates. So I don't see how it's really BM, to be fair. Um, so there are new challenge types. So uh, there's also going to be casual challenges, which I forgot to go through. So you're basically going to be able to... Um, play a casual challenge, so you're going to need to get a certain amount of crowns or a certain amount of wins um, in, say, uh, it says right here, 2v2 touchdown daily practice, so you'll be able to um, practice that, uh, play that challenge, and if you, say, need six crowns, um, 
every touchdown you get counts as one crown. Just forgot to say. Again, so much stuff in this update I keep forgetting to say. Um, but yeah, just play the daily practice. And then once you've done that, uh, it can potentially unlock the 2v2 challenge. The 2v2 ch touchdown challenge, which gives you more rewards. Say a giant chest, the golden chest, stuff like that. So um, they're actually called multi-stage challenges. So there are going to be some of those. Um, so yeah, it is going to be... Uh, a massive update. There is probably going to be a sneak peek tomorrow, and it's probably going to be balance changes. If there isn't a sneak peek tomorrow for balance changes, it will most definitely be on Sunday, because I think this update will be Monday. Uh, the balance change sneak peek often gives away, because um, they've basically already confirmed that there's going to be a balance change in this update, because they revealed on Discord that ba most updates come with balance changes, then, uh, and then a smiley face. Um... But yeah, basically, um, whatever the uh, the balance change, um, whenever the balance change comes into effect, is basically going to be the release date of the update, or at least most of the time that does apply. So, um, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. So this was a pretty long video, actually, 16 minutes. That does not feel like 16 minutes. There was a ton of stuff in this update. I've tried to go as quick as possible, but um, the, I'm just going to end up keeping repeat, keep on repeating myself so much obviously i can't actually split these into multiple different videos because i do uh, i stick to a set schedule all week so uh, obviously thursday, thursday's video is a switch video so i can't just do a sneak peek instead of that um maybe i'll do that for next update depends how big the update is um like split them up into separate sneak peeks because that generally does work better but i thought it would be better just to combine most of them or uh, or all of them um depends on how many more there are into one um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Like and like, comment in the comments, subscribe, subscribe, and peace out.